Every day, seven and a half billion hearts beat in unison. Everyone moves. It is like a tornado of feet and hands, laughter and tears. Some climb in, others step out, luggage in hand. Some arrive hastily, while others have been waiting there for a long time. The blood of all men is red, yet no one is the same as another. Each bears within himself the breath of the Creator, his imprint, his gift, each in his own way. Only one is your master, and you are all brothers, said Jesus. All children of the same Father, who loves everyone. We are all born for love. Each one walks with one's own dream and the seed of God in the land of his love. Thus, some stop and see others with a gaze full of love. They have the eyes and the hands of God. The saints are here. Their names never appear in newspapers or in fashion magazines. They have no enviable titles or bank accounts, yet they are there, and in the humility of daily life, they perform little great miracles. They do not have a lot of wealth, or do not have millions of viewers on social media, but they have something that cannot be bought with money or clicks. Goodness generosity, a welcoming spirit, tenderness and profound compassion of the other. To be holy means precisely this, to have the good of the other at heart and to dedicate oneself to it without reserve. Each one walks with one's own dream inside a precious and unique gift in the Greek design that God has for each one of us that only you can discover, cultivate, make true and donate. It is a seed planted in the fertile soil of your life which must become a responsible commitment, the vocation to holiness. Making it grow is everyone's task because we want to build a new world of joy and shared peace. It is Jesus, dear young people, dear parents, dear friends, who awaken in you the desire to make your life something great. The will to follow an idea, the refusal to let you swallow up mediocrity. In the frenzy of life that flows around us every day, there is always someone who stays on the sidelines, who stops at the threshold of life waiting for a new promise of happiness. Waiting for someone to notice him, to share the heat of life to open his arms like the crucified one and repeat the cry of God. I love you, forever, eternally and at all costs. Because the saints had the eyes and the hands of God. Holiness is not an optional extra, or a goal only for some. In the fullness of life, according to the project and the gift of God. Therefore, a journey allows one to experience one's own humanity and that of others. Holiness is already a part of you. You just have to give it time and space to flourish. Have the courage to get your hands dirty, to bet on your talent, wherever you are. 
because that's where God asks you to be holy. The dedication to work, care for relationships, service to others, love for the family, care for the inner life are the luminous and daily face of holiness. It is to them that we owe the light that still exists in this world. Each of our saints, blessed, venerable servants of God, carries within oneself a uniqueness that is part of his story. Among these, there are 46 young saints and blessed of our Salesian family. A call to holiness that passes through the example of Don Bosco, who invites us to dream, along with him, our full happiness. The life of Don Bosco was a continuous search for God's dream for him. A design full of colors, strong lines and soft brush strokes, but also tears, wounds and labors of sleepless nights. Don Bosco understood that the Lord called him to a life entirely dedicated to the young. And this was his happiness. He would say, one alone is my desire to see you happy in time and in eternity. Happiness is the dream of every young person today, tomorrow and in time. A great dream, but so delicate and fragile that it deserves attention and care. We often ask ourselves, why does everything good have to end? The world cannot promise us the forever. God does, in time and in eternity. It is He we seek when we dream of happiness. He is the beauty that attracts us so much. He alone loves us forever, eternally and at all costs. This is the door of Don Bosco's house. How many young people have passed through this door in 173 years? How many doors like this are there in the world? Salesians are present in 136 nations. There are also doors like this in Papua New Guinea, Mongolia, Gambia, all open, always, with someone who welcomes with open arms. Entering a house of Don Bosco has always been a unique moment, a grace in the lives of thousands of young people. Jesus tells the young man of Nain, Young man, I say to you, rise. He does not whisper, but shouts to overcome the chaos, the noise of the world. He shouts out because he asks for a strong decision, courage for a more fulfilled life. Good Christians and honest citizens, this is how Don Bosco translated the powerful invitation of Jesus. In this courtyard, Don Bosco looked at Dominic Savio in the eyes 
someone like you, an encounter of eyes rather than words, a simple act of total trust. I am the cloth and you are the tailor. You too, my dear young people, are the good cloth, like Dominic Savio, that rich cloth of possibilities that smells the future and dreams. Let yourself be sewn. Let yourself be basted by the expert hands of all those tailors who, like Don Bosco, have chosen to dedicate their lives for you. The suit that will be sewn, created, will be a masterpiece of holiness in the eyes of God. Holiness is here at your fingertips. It is not an unattainable goal. It does not ask us to isolate ourselves from the world, to renounce our affections. No, this is not holiness. Holiness consists in being very happy. Being saints means living fully. Being surprised every day of the beauty of life. Holiness does not make you less human. It does not bypass the cross. But it is the meeting of your weakness with the grace of God. Magone, Pesuco and Savio were accompanied in these courtyards in the discovery of their sanctity. Each with their particular originality and nuance. Games, prayer, study, daily life as precious time where Don Bosco worked the greatest miracles. Holiness is experienced and reached together, walking alongside others in communion with God in the life of the Church. Holiness is a mission for the lives of others. This requires commitment and care of oneself, but above all of those around us. De aquellos a quienes tenemos a nuestro lado. To be holy means to grow as a great tree in which flows the vital blood of God that produces and matures special fruits. Love, joy, peace, patience, humanity. Dear young people, I have promised God that my life until my last breath would be for you. In every moment of my life I have tried to make you feel loved all the time. Nothing was more important to me than your happiness. Have the courage to be happy. To be happy is to recognize that life is worth living despite all the challenges, misunderstandings and times of crisis. To be happy is to thank God every morning for the miracle of life. Being happy is not being afraid of one's feelings. It's about remaining firm in receiving criticism, even if it's unfair. To be happy is to let live the child that lives in each of us, free, happy and simple, and have the maturity to be able to say, I was wrong. It is having the courage to say, forgive me, having the sensitivity to express, I need you. It is to have the ability to say, I love you. Never give up. God has placed an angel at our side. Never give up the people you love. Never give up on happiness. Because life is an incredible spectacle. Don Bosco, quería siempre... Don Bosco wanted a vine under his window. 
It reminded him of his land, his hills and even the words of Jesus. To grow, the vine needs a strong and robust support. Mary had told Don Bosco, you must be humble, strong and robust. Just like this vine, attached to the walls of Valdocco, we too, through Don Bosco, are rooted in Jesus. De todos los santos, santas, beatos de nuestra familia salesiana, todos nosotros estamos muy agarrados, enraizados en Jesús. Quizá la tentación. Maybe the temptation to surrender is strong because we do not immediately see the fruits. A veces no vemos el fruto. Yet they, in silence, continue to grow. Es posible que en silencio las cosas puedan ir creciendo. We must know how to wait. Our season is that of hope. Spring always comes back. The season of God is certain. And we will be holy, that is happy. For eternity, not walking alone, but together, because holiness is for you too, and for you, and for you, and for you, and for me, and for all of us.